Classy and Cosmo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello. I make sewing, upcycling, and sustainable fashion videos. I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw Billie Eilish's photos from Vogue and I was completely blown away. First of all, she looks amazing. Second of all, her tattoo is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but it looks great. And three, the outfit. I was just blown away. I wanted to recreate the corset dress especially because I want to stick to my upcycling roots. I wanted to make it out of secondhand fabrics. A friend of mine, she has her own shop. Her shop is called Shop Day Me. It's a vintage store on Instagram. We had met up and she donated a gown that she wasn't gonna sell and she had thrifted it. And so I saw it and I was like, you are gonna be the thing that I upcycle into Billie Eilish's corset dress. If you follow me on TikTok, you probably saw my mini recreation series on the corset dress but this YouTube video is gonna be a full-on demonstration of how I made this dress out of this old dress does that make sense my brain ah! like my other videos I am including the pattern that I created in the description down below for free it's just for the corset top portion I didn't include a pattern for a skirt because I ended up just draping it if you want to check out my other free patterns they're linked in the description of my other YouTube videos and they're all for the corset tops this dress was not easy to make I struggled it took me like six days but yeah I'm pretty proud of the end result so if you want to see how I made this dress from scratch from secondhand textiles keep on watching I started off by trying to replicate the shape of the corset top I used thin strips of tape to map out where the seams were on Billie Eilish's corset dress. I mean, right off the bat, I felt like I was gonna execute this design pretty well. I was pretty comfortable. The only thing that was kind of freaking me out was the bra cups, because they're kind of hard to put on corset tops for me. A perk of being a hoarder is that I always have scrap fabric to drape my patterns on. <laughs> I always like to use a fabric that's transparent enough so that I can see the tape underneath very clearly. When you're draping, you're gonna wanna pin the fabric so that there's no lumps or bumps. I like to label everything because I'm a potato and I just forget what each shape is for. And after labeling, you can cut out the shapes that you just traced out. You don't have to cut it out on your dress form. I was just doing this because I was going live on TikTok and I wanted you guys to see what I was doing. I repeated the pin and trace process until I completed all of my pattern pieces. <laughs> This is what my shapes ended up looking like. Now it's time to trace them onto paper. I lay the fabric that I just cut out onto the paper and I use a pencil to start tracing the outline of the shape. I'll then go in with my ruler or pattern master to perfect the curves and the lines just to make sure that my pattern is accurate. Once I'm content with the shape, I'm gonna start labeling everything. After that, I grabbed a ruler and I started marking down a half inch seam allowance around the whole shape of this pattern. I'm not sure if this is something you guys wanna try, but I did scan the pattern. It's a size zero to two because that's what size I am. And I have it linked in the description down below and it's completely free. Again, I made this pattern quite quickly, so it's not perfect, but it could be good to use if you wanted to practice or follow along. This is the dress that I'll be thrift flipping, reconstructing, upcycling, whatever you wanna call it. Taking apart this dress <laughs> took like two hours. I don't know, it wasn't that bad. I felt super strong doing it, hence my facial expressions. After much seam ripping, I was finally able to free multiple pieces of fabric that were large enough for me to work with. The fabric was super wrinkled and ruched, so I stretched it out and ironed it flat. Time to cut out the corset top pattern onto fabric. I used the smaller strips of fabric for this part because I wanted to save the longer ones to drape the skirt. I folded the fabric good sides touching and I pinned the pattern pieces onto the fabric. I'm gonna have to cut out two of each shape for the shell and then two of each shape for the lining. This used to be my mom's shirt, but I'm gonna use it for the top of the bra cups. 
this is what my pieces look like all cut out what you're looking at right now is the outside fabric so the shell of the corset dress but I also cut out the exact same thing in a different colored fabric for the lining now it's time to make this corset dress actually start looking like a corset dress I'm gonna take the pieces that I just cut out put them good sides touching and I'm gonna sew them along the edge where the pins are leaving a half inch seam allowance honestly if I try to explain to you how I did the bra cups you're just gonna be even more confused so just watch this This is what everything should look like all sewn together for both the shell and the lining. I'm going to iron down all of the seams so that everything lays flat and it looks more professional. I was gonna say iron everything down flat and beautiful but people were saying that I was copying Gunner Deathrage and I didn't mean to. I would just refer it back to me saying that I was also flat and beautiful. <laughs> but anyways, people kept tagging him in my videos and he actually followed me back so you can imagine how I died a little bit that day. Okay, but back to the video. What I'm doing right now is pinning the bra cups onto the corset top. Sewing on bra cups is not easy for me. So when I did this step, I made sure to go super duper slow. And even though I did go super slow, I did mess up and I had to seam rip it and do it all over again. So please do not rush this step just go slow take your time it'll look better i promise everything is all sewn together so i'm just going to trim off any excess fabric i'm also going to iron down the bra cup seams and to do that since it's on a curve i made little slits in the seam allowance and then I ironed everything flat so it'll lay nicely. I didn't have enough fabric to make exterior boning channels and when I went to the fabric store I couldn't find any boning channels that were in the same color as the corset dress but I did end up finding this binding so I thought I would sew it on to the front and do more of like a contrasting look. So this is where my corset dress is going to look different from Billy's. Here is what the boning channels look like all sewn on. I sewed down both sides of the boning channels to create a tunnel or a tube and that's where I'm going to put the boning in and the boning will hold structure for the corset top. Now to attach the bra cups onto the outside fabric, again I did this part quite slowly because I didn't want to mess up and guess what, I messed up. So I had to redo this part like two times. So I pinned the bra cups onto the corset top and then I sewed them into place. After trimming off some excess fabric, it was time to add in the bra underwire. I ironed down the bra cup seam because I wanted to sew it down and use it as the tunnel that the underwire is going to go through and I didn't have underwire at home in my size so I cut it out of this bra that I think I've had since elementary school. I started adding boning, cutting it out to the correct size for each boning channel and then I used a lighter which you shouldn't use because plastic fumes are bad for you but I was in a rush and I was becoming hysterical. It was like day five or something and I just started burning the edges because if you're Boning has sharp edges, it's going to poke through whatever you're making and it's going to create holes which you do not want. Skirt time, I started draping the longer strips of fabric onto the dress form trying to recreate the pleats in the picture. Once I was content with the look of the skirt, I trimmed off some of the bottom because it was really long and then I sewed the pleats in place. I surged all of the raw edges of the skirt and then I used my iron to lay them flat. I used pins to hold all of the edges in place and then I proceeded to sew them down. I made sure to use a colored thread that matched my fabric when hemming because this seam is going to show. It was finally time to attach the skirt to the dress so I pinned it in place and then I sewed it down and then I top stitched it using a thread color that matched the fabric again because the seam is showing. It just makes everything look a lot nicer, cleaner, neater. Now for the part I dread the most, the zipper. So the first thing I did was shorten it and I created a whole new end so the zipper doesn't just fly out. Then I pinned it to the dress. This isn't really a tutorial. There are many tutorials on YouTube you can watch on how to attach a zipper to a dress. So I made sure to pin and sew both sides. The zipper is on. The skirt is hemmed. It's time to move on to the lining. 
In the picture, you can barely see it, but Billy has kind of these beige frills at the top of her dress. So I added something similar to mine and then I added adjustable straps from an old bra that I had. Then I attached the lining and I made sure to cut off excess fabric so that it wouldn't bulk up. And I had to hem the bottom of the lining. So I used my serger and my iron to help me with that. I folded over the outside edges of the lining to hide the zipper and then I sewed that down. Then I top stitched the whole top of the dress. The last part was to close up the dress underneath the zipper so I just used my pins and then I sewed it down and then I ironed it because it can bunch up and make some really ugly shapes. Everything was going too well and I wasn't messing up as much as I usually was but then I tried the dress on and it was way too small for me so I added eyelets to the very top of the dress so that I could lace it up for the part of the zipper that wouldn't close. I'm going full out for this reveal. I didn't think my series would get the attention that it did. Gunner Death Rage followed me back on TikTok and I died a little bit. But anyways, my mom is taking me to go get my blonde wig now for the reveal. <laughs> She taught me how to put it on and everything. I really went full out. Spent $300 on the wigs and accessories and everything. Does my wig even look real? I feel like it really looks fake, but I tried my best, I really did. I know I don't look exactly like her, but I was just wanting to recreate it in my own way. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. And let me know in the comments if you want me to recreate a different look, but yeah, here's the final reveal.